What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and happy Friday. I for one am extremely appreciative that the weekend is here. Um, it's been one of those weeks. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm bringing to Down East Con. So we're going to Down East Con on Sunday. That's now you, the flyer, um, part of the flyer is in the intro, has been in the intros to my video. Words, use them. Anyway, um, but this is the actual whole flyer. And uh, so this is Down East Con 2024. It's uh, sponsored by the Southern Maine Scale Modelers Club slash IPMS. This is going to be Sunday, April 14th. Uh, Sanford Memorial Gym in Sanford, Maine, which is 50 minutes-ish from here. Um, there's some of the stuff that's on here is uh, a make-and-take workshop for the kids. That's going to be cool. Vendor tables, raffle, food services on site. So if you guys are going to go to that, um, you can eat right there. Uh, registrations from 9 to 11.30, no exceptions. The make and take is from 9.30 to 11. Um, I can spout out the directions really quick if you want me to. Okay, I'll do that. Um, let's see. So, if you're traveling south on I-95, take exit 19. Turn right at stop on, uh, turn right at the stop onto Route 109. Jim is 13.3 miles on the right. That makes sense to me because I'm from the area. The way I just read that probably confused everybody. So maybe I won't read the directions. Just Google it if you need to. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, going to be hanging out there with my buddies. Um, going to throw some models on the table. Um, test our luck. See how we do. Probably not very well, but that's okay. That's not what it's about. It's about hanging out with my friends um, and meeting some of you guys for the first time, second time, whatever. Uh, come say hi, because I'll be there all day long. Uh, so let's, let's show you the progress on the egg plane, right? There's a swerve. Uh, before I get into that, I figured I'd show you guys... Um, making some cool little progress on the egg plane this has been fun i've just been working on this in between um in between things and i'm having a blast with it it's really neat um it's funny and uh I was sitting here on my desk and heather was sitting here with me and we were um on a facetime video with my daughter out in colorado and uh, we got off the call and heather looks over and she goes what is that I said, it's an egg plane. Can't you tell? Anyway, um, so that's been fun. Uh, so let's move on to what I'm taking to the show uh, on Sunday. So um, we'll start with, now these are my favorites. These are my favorites. I, I'm not going to lie. I went through and picked out um, what I really, really like right now for models I've built. Uh, so, anyway, um, I'm going to start with the Ford Plow Truck. Um, this is one of my favorite builds. It came out really nice. Uh, it's, I b can't believe it's kind of dusty. It was in a case. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to clean and get a nice coat of wax on these and get them packed up uh, to bring on Sunday. But anyway, so we're gonna bring the Ford plow truck. That's a favorite. We're gonna bring the trash can Mustang. Um, this thing, I thought, I hated this model. <laughs> when I was building this thing, I hated this model. I'm not gonna lie, um, it's a great kit. It's just one of those builds that was just not, I mean, if you remember back, if you don't, go back in the videos, old videos, and look through. Um, this is the second iteration of this kit. Uh, the first one, the paint came out beautiful um, until I was trying to put it together, and things snowballed from there, and it just, it turned to, uh, it ended up in the trash can, hence the name. Um, and then the second paint job, 
screwed up on me for whatever reason. Uh, so I ended up teaching myself how to um, weather and rust a car. And I think I did fairly well with this. Um, it's weathered, it's rusty, it's dirty. Um, taught myself how to do the windshield, the dirty windshield, the whole nine yards. Um, and then I threw a bumper sticker on the back. It's going to be really hard to see that the bumper sticker says, I love model cars. Um, this is one of my favorite models. This is ended up being one of my favorites. So I want to bring this with me. I think that'll be fun. Next is the USAC Ford. Um, I think this one also came out really nice. Uh, I've put, this is the, this is my, um, the model I put the most work into as far as, I don't know if you'd call it scratch building, but modifying maybe. Um, as you guys know, this has got a full Iceman chassis inside of it, an Iceman engine, um, aftermarket wheels, different, it's got like kit bashed interior, um, I had a lot of fun with this one too, and there's a Scott. Well, look at that. I'm gonna have to fix that. If I'm gonna bring it. I don't know how that happened, but there's a little mark on the running board right there. Um, but anyways, I I digress. Um, this was a lot of fun, so I I think I want to bring this one with me. And then uh, the Merc. That's going to come with me. Uh, this one's also going to be the only kit that follows me out to NNL. Uh, I'm only going to bring this one, and I think that'll be okay. It fits in with the theme. Um, I love the way this one came out. So, I want to bring this one. Um, I'm trying to think if I would consider this the last... So this could either be considered the lap, the second to last model show of the year, or the first model show of the year. Um, if I'm going off of the classic plastic show, that's in October. Um, I could consider that the first show. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, this one's coming. Just rambling. Sorry, guys. So that one is coming with me. Um, this little car, I love this car. This came out really cool. Uh, that's the Nova that I put the VCG resins six cylinder in. Um, I really like the way this car came out a lot. So I'm gonna bring this one with me too. Uh, this is a this is a cool little car. So that's coming. And then, what is my absolute favorite model? Uh, this is the first model I've had that's been uh, featured somewhere, whether it's uh, digitally or um, on paper, featured for, what do you call it, for a magazine. I'm, like I said, I'm struggling with words today, guys. Um, this, this model was featured on the Fine Scale Modeler, website um, for the classic plastic show last year which is really cool and that's the green nova this is just it in my mind the epitome of a street machine i i i'll tell you what my street machine group build is coming up in june and i'm gonna try and top myself but i don't know this thing is just this thing's just cool i just love the way this came out so um there you have it. So that's what I'm, I'm bringing for cars. Now, uh, bonus, I'm going to bring something way out of my wheelhouse. I'm just going to throw it on the table. Um, it's the first thing, first, it's the first of this style build for me. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, so the story for this, let me just show, let me show it to you first and then I'll tell you the story. So this is way out of my wheelhouse, but a Gundam. So this is not only the first Gundam I've built, 
It's the first Gun Gundam I've weathered. Um, I had a lot of fun with this thing. Uh, this was like a weekend. It was the weekend I had no power at the house. Um, no glue required. I could have just done it no painting required. Uh, but I wanted it to look like it was battle-hardened, right? Why do I have a Gundam, you may ask? Okay. So, a few months ago, uh, a subscriber to the channel sent a package to me, or to the shop, um, and it had model kits for me, Ryan, and it had a Gundam in there for Heather. Um, and I was looking at it, and I was like, you know what, would be really cool, it'd be cool, I... I said, well, um, I'll pick one up. I'll pick the same Gundam up, and then we can build them together. Um, so my local comic book shop sells Gundam kits, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I, I went down there, and they had one of these. So I snagged it. So Heather and I, Heather has one, I have one. Um, and I've been sitting on it and sitting on it and sitting on it. And uh, there was one time when Heather was like, do you want to build those? And I was like, eh, I don't have time right now, no. And then I said, do you want to build those? And she's like, no, nah, not really. She's become really immersed in her D&D &D stuff. So um, I waited a little while longer. And this past weekend, when or last weekend, whatever, when we didn't have power, um, she was like, reading her D&D &D books and, like, jotting down her campaign stuff. And I said, hey, listen, uh, are you going to be offended if I build that Gundam and you don't? Because <laughs> I, I just need something to, to, to kill the doldrums, and I don't want to sit here. I don't want to work on a car. I don't want to work on anything. I'd rather just do something I can start and finish this weekend. And she's like, yeah, that's fine. I really don't have any desire right now to build that. So um, she's got one in the box, and I've got one built. Um, so I'm going to, I think, bring this with me and enter it. What the heck, right? Um, I had a lot of fun doing it, and it's actually made me want to buy another kit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to the, the comic book shop next week. Um, well, actually, I might wait till after NNL. I'm not sure. Uh, either way. I'll go down there and, and I'll probably pick up another one. He's got, for a comic book shop, and surprisingly, he's got a, a pretty good selection of these things um, down there. So, I know nothing about Gundams. I don't know the backstory. I don't know what he, he's a Zaku warrior. That's all I know, because that's what it tells me on the box. Um, I've done no research <laughs> on any of these things. Um... As far as the weathering goes, I kind of just said to myself, he's got to be beat up, right? If he's been in a battlefield, he's got to be beat up. His feet, his legs are going to be the worst. Um, he's got some, he's got some bla laser blasts or whatever they are up here. Um, some over here. Um, he's muddy. He's dirty. He's got what I think is, what I think is his jet propulsion stuff so he can fly down here he's got some soot there and anyway you know what i i kind of taught myself how to do this too so we'll see how it does if i can at least if there are other gundam builders there that can tell me that it's way over weathered or they wouldn't be dirty because they're in space i don't know either way i had fun with them and he's going to be on the table too so there you have it um, I will try and do a video of the models from the show, um, or a couple maybe, depending on how big it is. This is my first time going to the show, believe it or not, even as close as it is to my house. Um, so I'll give it a shot. We'll, I will probably record, um, everything that's going to be there, uh, planes, tanks, Gundams, the whole nine yards, um, and then if I have time doing that, after I video everything that's on the tables and, you know, talking with people, whatever, if I have time, I'll do the vendor area. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. It also depends on how big it is. I'm sure you guys would love to see the vendor area, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, so for now, that's it. Um, 
thanks for watching thanks for subscribing uh, you guys that watch these videos uh, a couple of you reached out on my on my shop tour video uh, I got a really good response on that one too by the way so thank you for watching everybody I had a couple of guys reach out and were like you went you showed the beer fridge but you didn't show us what's in it um, there's a short right now on YouTube uh, that shows what's in my beer fridge go look for that and uh, watch it if you want to know what kind of beer I drink so uh, that'll do it and um, as always go check out market hobby nut models um, go check out MCB products both websites are linked in the description of the video um, and the emails there too if you guys want to reach out for any reason don't hesitate uh, throw me an email and I will uh, do my best to read it and respond in a prompt manner. Okay, that's it. Have a good one, guys, and I'll talk to you on Sunday. Bye.